Oh, I've got two Firefoxes. Okay, that's what's going on. That's what had me confused. All right, so our next game is Bears at Oilers. Stu and Randy, probably their first match since CFT 3 AFC Championship. Or Stu pulled it out to meet me in the Super Bowl. And funny thing, it was probably these two exact same teams. So we have we got three more, four more games. Jeez, is that right? This is game four. Boy, these streams, they're going to take a long time. I imagine I'll do these late at night. The idea here, though, is we'll have a full... Uh, full games, whatever was, was streamed, was recorded on the... Uh, on each recap page as a YouTube. That's our goal. And as we go along, we will integrate our games ticker and our injury ticker. Oh, Willard. An opening salvo, George Blanda. So shoot, this is going to go past 3 o'clock. Okay. Quick pass to Tom Reichlich. Once again. Oh, Randy tried to get the second in short. Did not go back far enough. Pick play just barely gets it off. Randy went heavy passing offense with this draft. As you can see, Norm. But he misunderstood because, you know, he didn't read the rules, thinking that he would automatically get his A line. Uh, but he's got Buddy Dial, Red Phillips, Old Red, and Billy Houghton. And I bet you Randy probably has uh, has this on his YouTube too, so I might add that YouTube as well. Oh. The general Jimmy Patton gets cut, blocked, and Johnny Morris traipses in for the touchdown.
That was an interesting cut block a couple plays ago. Oh, we got another block kick. Jim Otto picks it up, but he can't he can't take it in. Look at Ray Nitschke. Still Manning Patton. Six MS. Warren Van Brocklin. Gets the first. Pops it in there to Old Red, and the Oilers take their first lead of the game. And it should be the lead that ends the half. CFT Super Bowl, let's go. And here is our third quarter stats or conditions. Jack Spikes is feeling it. Blair Duval is feeling it. Charlie Hardy is feeling it. Old Red is feeling it. Look at Old Red. 50-81. What a weapon. Defense. Ray. Don Floyd. And Daniel Kolkiko for the Oilers, along with Dick Zemanski. The Oilers linebacking core. All 44 RP. They have Richie McCabe at DB3. Jesse Whittington and Bob Z Man at the corners. Randy with the quick strike offense again. Gets the first just barely. I'm sure, he was trying to 
not get it that time because it was second down, not first. Nice crossfield pass to Morris, and he does cut it out of bounds. In front of the sticks on purpose. A very randy play, and then picked run three. Stew's all over that. Rosie Greer. Oh. Oh my gosh, he looked like he got in line, but his 25 interceptions couldn't block the 56 PC pass to 69 receptions. Buddy Dial. Buddy Dial is open again. But Norm runs it. <clears throat> Our next game will be the Colts at the Bills at the Rock Pile. Always look for some good shenanigans from that matchup. Then we'll finish with the uh, Raiders at Lions. Manuel vs. Odell. And then our game of the week, JJT at uh, San Francisco versus Grip Smoke. Nearing the fourth quarter. Since I messed this one up, it's not supposed to be showing. Oh, I'm not. Okay. I just changed the wrong one. Okay. A little overthrow there. Toss up to Morris, tries the dipsy do, and will settle for the field goal, it looks like. Let's look at these conditions here real quick. Gets it off right away, and it is good. 17-7. Nice return by Dick Christie. I forget where this desyncs. I just know what happens in the fourth quarter. This already seems a little suspicious. Nope, not yet. Puts net in. A mess. Put, 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 put. 
And Bland is going to go back and chuck it to Willard. It's overthrown. They're taking their sweet old time to pick the play. So this makes me think that's... Is that the play that it happened on? Nope. Nope. Tries to go to... Oh, wide receiver two! Over the middle! Bob's, oh, oh no. He's caught, cannot cross the line of scrimmage. Butchler couldn't come up with it the play before. Oh, what's going on here? This looks like where the desync happens. Or not? Yeah, this is where the desync happens. So. That game ended up, let's look at it, it was Houston, Chicago. The final score ended up being 27-17. Uh, so That's tiny. Didn't, oh yeah, here it is. So 17-10. Pretty dominant game for only a 7-point spread. That doesn't help at all, does it? Okay, so Landa, two passes for 129 yards, both to Duval. We saw them. Norm, 17 of 24, high volume passes, but a lot of runs with Johnny Morris as well. Just ball control offense. Spreading around. Old Red just caught the one pass, though he was feeling it. Yeah, there's that game. remove that one okay okay so our next game 